So this is part two in our ViewSonic interactive display and document camera usage video series, okay? So in the first video, I showed you how to directly connect to the ViewSonic interactive display and use your data projector, or excuse me, document camera. Today, for those of you who have your desk in the back of the room and you need a way to use your document camera wirelessly, I'm going to show you how to use it through the software. So the software is called Sphere 2, and the website where you get the software is www.averusa.com slash classroom dash technology slash support. And we do have that in the EdTech notebook, by the way, under the document cameras. But once you're here, you, go, you select the document camera that you have. I'm working with an F50. Going to click on that link, then I go to the Downloads tab, scroll down, and it would be this first one for my Windows device, okay? So I'm going to use my document camera with my, my view board and my view board interactive display, ViewSonic interactive display, sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so I've already installed the software. You saw that icon earlier. My document camera is connected. I have connected it to my laptop through the micro USB port. If you have an, uh, an AVER 300 AF, you may have this connector. It's also USB, we call it the doghouse, that connects to the back of your document camera and then the USB would go into your laptop. Okay, so I have my document camera connected, plugged in, turned on, and the USB cable is connected to my PC laptop. So now, when I launch the software, it will automatically connect. And if I had something, oh, I moved the camera. Hello. <laughs> There's a document. Okay. So now, how do I get this? Oh. Focus, autofocus. There we go. Okay. So, how do I get this image to project to my ViewSonic interactive display wirelessly? I'm going to need to use Intel Unite. So I'm gonna go over to the board, open my Intel Unite, and wait for it to give me a code. There it is. So now I've gotta to go to my laptop. Oh, and I sure hope I have Intel Unite on here. I thought I had it on the desktop. There it is, yay. Oh, already running. I guess I already had it open, didn't realize it. There we go. So here's Intel Unite. Now I must enter the code that appears on the screen of the ViewSonic interactive display. And that code is 095842. Oops, four two. Of course I could use the numbers on the keyboard. All right, now I'm going to present my screen. And I'm gonna minimize my little ViewSonic. Oh, it did it already. It, it minimized it automatically. How lovely. That's great. And there you have your document camera image from the back of the room. And you can still annotate using those overlay tools that we talked about earlier. Here's a pen. Click it to grab a different color. And log into your Google account. Here's the broom that erases it, but that's for another training. But this is how you can use your document camera with your interactive display, your ViewSonic. That's it.